Hey Dylan, we're reporting from Stoney's Rocking Country, where Great America PAC is hosting a Republican viewing party for the final debate. Teacup and I are here because we are bipartisan reporters. Teacup smile. No way, I'm part of liberal media. What inspires you about Donald Trump? His uh, new uh, coming of making a difference and changing what's been going on for years. I'm uh, very excited about it. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Very exciting. Do you have any comment about Obama's two terms? I'm glad it's over. That makes me sad. Third debate was his best. Donald Trump. And I mean, it just shows he wasn't a politician. He is a politician now. He admits it now. Sadly, he's a politician. <laughs> Can we just keep the politicians out of politics? Yeah. But I mean, it takes understanding when someone comes after you how to respond. Hillary's an attorney. She understands as an attorney how to go after someone. When you're not an attorney, think about it if you're a pro per, you're in a courtroom and an attorney comes after you. That's what he's up against. Right, someone with experience. Let's bring Bernie back. And you work with illegal immigrants. Who laugh at our country because they get to go to the hospital. They get to get all the benefits that I don't get without paying for it because their names are not right. Their social security are not right. Everything is not right. Guess who I am? Right. That was a terrible impression. But it's okay because they can walk into a hospital right now and get more coverage than I can. And then when I walk back in the hospital, I have a bill. And I have to pay that bill because I can't go anywhere. My social security net and my number is right. So these are all issues that need to be addressed. So they have access to basic human rights. More than I do. And how is that right? Oh, dear. And how is it that Hillary wants 550% more to come to this country? Not just Mexicans, every single nationality that is illegal. You know, I should have looked this up, but I don't know what an illegal nationality is. It's not a thing. So he's an alpha male. He's all man. Donald Trump. He's just all man, right? He's like total man. Like he Do you think he would be good in bed? Yeah. Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. That was gross. I think he would, because he's an alpha guy. Like, I don't think he's a, a wussy. Like, he's like, oh, right? He's like a caveman, right? He's a cave guy. Well, there's something we can agree on. Still gross. What were your thoughts on the conversation about Aleppo? Okay, like, everyone's talking about Aleppo. I don't want to sound like, um, I'm like not sure about Aleppo. Yeah. Where is Aleppo? Okay, are you making fun of me? Me? <laughs> I think Aleppo is definitely in the Middle East, and this is a conversation like I heard this on the radio. And was it Pence who got in trouble for this, or was it was it Tim Kaine who got in the trouble? It was actually Gary Johnson running with the Libertarian Party. I believe it was Tim Kaine who got in trouble because he did not know where Aleppo was, and now I'm falling in that same trap, and I didn't do my homework. I think it's, Aleppo is a city in uh, the Middle East, and I'm not sure what's happening there. But I mean, who really knows where Aleppo is or what's going on there? People don't know about it because it's complicated. But that's no excuse. Aleppo is a city in Syria, where the Syrian government has been bombing its own people in attempts to control Syrian rebels, who have the goal to bring down the leadership of President Assad, the current president of Syria. This is important in the United States because of the tension between the U.S. and Russia regarding aid to Syria, especially after a ceasefire agreement fell apart and the U.S. accidentally bombed Syrian troops because they thought they were ISIS. And then the U.S. blamed Russia for purposely bombing a humanitarian convoy headed towards Aleppo. The actions of both the U.S. and Russia in dealing with the problems in Aleppo also affect how the two countries negotiate a nuclear arms deal, making this a seriously global issue. Well, I just got schooled by teacup. We should all probably do a little more research on this. It definitely seems important. Well, it's been three days with her and Bill in Arkansas, and I realize she's an evil, evil villain. An evil villain. <laughs> an evil villain, that's all I can say. Hillary Clinton, the evil villain. Batman's next greatest enemy. Na -na 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 Batman. We need 
a president that's going to put Supreme Court justices in place that will uphold the Constitution as it is intended and not try to modify it for modern day. Yeah, basically still the same century. Oh my gosh. Get rid of people that don't belong in working for the government. So with, with Democratic leadership, they've been hiring prostitutes to work at the VA? Yeah, it, it's sick. Yeah. Hashtag speechless. Thank goodness that we have Fox. Otherwise, we wouldn't even know about this. Thank goodness for Fox. Uh-huh, that's why we're also informed about Aleppo. We are signing off from Vegas Talk, reporting from Stoney's Rock and Country in Las Vegas, Nevada after the final presidential debate 2016. Let's never do that again.